This question is basically about what's the definition of a frequency table? What does it actually mean? And we see these on the SAT a lot, but here we're just told to understand them. And so what we need to do is take this list and kind of condense it a little bit. And so the first thing that catches my eye is that on the end here are two 13s, meaning the number 13 has a frequency of two. So now I would just scan through my answers and see if that matches up, right? So we can see in choice A that the numbers 13 and two appear. Um, and and that's, that's correct. Now notice how choice B does it though. They flip those same two numbers, right? They say the number two and the frequency is 13, but no, 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 be careful. The data that we are given is gonna be here in this left column. And then in the right-hand column is how often each of those data points appears, right? So there are, we can check the whole thing. There are two 13s, one, two, three, eights, and one, two, three, four, fours. So if we go through the list here, choice A works, choice B does not, choice C makes no sense, and neither does choice D. So yeah, choice A is the answer. Um, the reason you might get this wrong is if you don't know what a frequency chart is, or if you kind of foolishly maybe start with the fours because those do work in both choices A and B, so you gotta check multiple things. But please, please understand how this works. Even though this question is a very easy version of frequency charts, they're going to come up in other places with statistics where we're going to just need to know them and then do other stuff with them. So this is a very easy concept here, but it will get harder as we add more layers to it in other questions.